Yes then guys, how we are doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to what is going to be another FIFA 22 player view. In this one we're checking out one of the current Team of the Week cards available. It is a big beast who plays his football in the Bundesliga. It's Zakaria. Zakaria, Zakaria, however you pronounce this chap's name, he is a staple in beastie starter squads throughout FIFA, especially over the past couple of years. And this card is pretty much a carbon copy of his regular card last year. He was 83 overall and he was sensational. This time around, he's 6 for 3, high medium work rates, right footed, and freestyle, freestyle. I paid 53k for the man, we'll check his actual in game price shortly. 19 games played of him, 0 goals, 0 assists. Yeah, but I did play friendlies. This was grinding Camavinga last night, and I actually played him as a centre back. Um, and he did a really solid job, but in this play, we're going to play him as that out and out CDM. In regards to the attributes, pace is fantastic. It's mainly the physical and the defending that you notice with this chap. I've given him a powerhouse just to mass up the stand tackle, the awareness, interceptions, as well as the passing stats. I wanted to be able to get the ball down, make the interception, and then pick the pass. 84 stamina, 90 strength and 88 aggression is fantastic. 82 acceleration, 89 sprint speed will take that. Going forward, yeah, not really much to shout about. The shot power is decent, the finishing isn't horrific. He may be able to find the back of the net, but nowadays where goalkeepers are next level, you may struggle a little bit. In regards to dribbling, agility and balance are a little bit on the low side. We'll see really if that affects the man as a CDM. Reactions and the rest of the dribbling stats do make up for that though. So hopefully he doesn't feel too clunky on the ball. In regards to player traits, we have got just the playmaker CPU AI trait. As it stands, his price is a bit all over the place. You see bids for about 30 to K. I reckon 30 to 50 K is roughly how much you have to spend on this man as it stands. Um, I can't really find any open bid higher than 30k. So I may have lost a bit of money myself, but let's see if he's worth that or if he's worth even more. But that's the card. That's going to be the boys that he's rocking with in today's player view. Yes, the lads, the lads, the lads. This is currently my first team. My out and out first team as it stands. A lot of these boys, I did get lucky in upgrades and get untradeable. The likes of LaCroix, Neuer, De Jong and Dembele were all untradeable from the gold upgrade packs. Want to watch Kamavinga that we grind out yesterday. There is Sakaria himself linking up to Mbappé. That is one nice thing about this man. He gets a strong link into this beast of a right back. As I said, we got the Croy in the team now. I played one or two games of him as it stands, or three matches, and I can't get over how good he is. For a 79 overall, obviously the pace is incredible, but defensively and physically, he is also very, very solid. Uh, his centre back partner is Upa Meccano. We've got Neuer in goal. The Young, I will have a review out on this man, maybe later today or tomorrow. Greasy Grease, Dembele. Red and Lodi's our left back, a little upgrade from Sanusi. It's nice to have somebody with more reliable passing. And then we got the big beast himself at front, Erling Haaland. In regards to custom tactics, we got balance, 35 width, 45 depth, balance, direct passing, 40 width on the offense, seven players in the box, one and one on corners and free kicks. Formations are 4 3 2 1. Haaland is our striker, Griezmann on the right, Dembele on the left, Kamavinga, De Jong, and then Zakaria, Zakaria. I'm going to pronounce his name so many different times throughout this video, guys. Apologies in advance. He is going to be in the middle, absolutely destroying everything. Anything that comes his way, he is tackling, he is destroying, pushing them over, throwing his body about a little bit. And we're going to truly test him as that out and out CDM. And of course, the back four stays the same. So as it stands, I'm still in Division 4, making my way towards Division 3. With two wins away, is that? I still don't really know how this works. I'm pretty confident it is back to back wins separating me from Division 3, so we are in sweat territory. Every single team we come up against is a little bit crazy. So let's see what team we're facing first in this player view, if I move my mic over a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit on the tamer side of things. Still a very nice stacked, overpowered starter squad, but let's see how Zakaria performs in that middle, see if he can hold things down, and see if he's worth the price. He does feel a little bit clunky on the ball, but that's fine, we don't really need him doing too much dribbling. Tell you what, low driven here. Gotta be on the rebound. I don't know who that is, but he's missed an absolute sitter. Little finesse there. That is an unreal stop for my black. Still trying to get my knack down for the old finesses. Uh, but let's see if we can get a little corner goal here. Greasy Grease looks it in. Uber Makano and Babu, one of you boys. Oh, what a goal. Fakir on his right foot has driven it. I don't know if it's a low driven or just a power shot. Either way, there's so much power in this. Oh, Haaland. Kamavinga. There we go. We take those scrappy as it comes. But you take any goal you can get in FIFA 22. There he is. The first interception of the game and the pick out. 
I was about to say my opponent just seems to be doing all he can to avoid the centre of my midfield. Zakari has just sat there waiting. Waiting and lurking for the moment. And when he gets that chance for interception number one, he damn well gets it. So guys, how will we find a FIFA 22? We've had a little bit of time to kind of settle down, get to grips with the mechanics, kind of learn the game. Are you enjoying it? Do you prefer the FIFA 21? I've seen loads of people saying it's such a breath of fresh air. It feels more realistic once you kind of get the knack of shooting. A few things obviously need to be tweaked. Um, one thing definitely is not Zakaria's interceptions because that is sensational from the boy. That's a great ball. What a goal for my opponent. A little give and go. A little dink over the top and he's in. It is Griezmann. Is he wearing, he's wearing the Arsenal kit, isn't it? Both Arsenal kits. I can't hate this man. He's got an Arsenal kit on. It just looks so much like the Ajax kit though. I don't know what we're playing at. Oh, lovely little ball from Zakaria there. Oh, I thought that was it. It's been such a boring second half so far, guys. Nothing has happened apart from a little double deception from Zakaria there. We started the game to this one a bit. Thought De Jong was hitting the back of the net. Haaland must do, though. There it is. We're back in this game to all boys. Just like that, De Jong threads in the big man Erling. Low driven, never in doubt. When in doubt, hit the low driven. Both bumpers, you'll be having a fun time. Oh, what a ball. Oh, just couldn't quite get there. Nice little give and go. First time pass in Zakaria as well. Got us a bit of space here. A lot of space here. We've got a man back post. Got to be dead belly. It has to be. And it is. Just like that counter attack FC in full flow emotion. The belly can't celebrate to save his life. He's too excited. But we take the lead. Big Usman making up for that sitter early doors. So give and go. Yes, big beast making a block. Love to see it. Truly putting that price tag to work. Diaz through the middle, potentially. Diaz through the middle. Keeper. Oh, we've done him. That's an unreal stop off, black mate. Honestly, get that needle out your arm, my son. Greasy grease. That is GG's in the chat. 4-2. One win away from the promised land. One win away from Division 3. Oh, mate, sit down. Sit down, lad. That's what I'm talking about. The big Swiss beast. Clean up crew. Can we get another? Add insult to injury. We can't. We can't. So the big W for the boys, a 4-2 win. And our man of the match, clap him in. It goes to the boy Dennis. We call him Dennis, simple as that. Uh, but big man Dennis covering, as you can see, pretty much majority of the field. Had that little glimpse of the doors, that one shot that potentially could have gone in. Uh, but Dembele missed the sitter on the rebound. But as you can see, he dominated pretty much majority of the plays where I wanted him to be. Tackle success rate was 100? Is that 100%? Is that right? I don't know how this works. I don't know how, what any of this means on the right-hand side here, but you guys can see it for your own eyes. <laughs> Did he do good? You tell me. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoyed this man's card. He was where I wanted him to be all the damn time. That CDM role is essential. You need it in any strong team, and this man is the perfect foundation for that. Plenty of interceptions throughout the game. Big bully. Once he gets in front of the man, gets on the ball, he's hard to push off it, and he picks a pass. As I'm a little bit short for time today, guys, I have to leave this one out of one game play review. Normally, I like to do two or three matches per review, but I feel pretty satisfied with this one. I've played a lot with this man. I can give you my honest opinion. He is staying in my team, and I'm pretty confident he's going into the first weekend league with me. Obviously, going forward, you don't really want him going forward, to be fair. You want him sweeping and sitting. But if he is in a situation where he has to take a shot, you never know. It's potluck. That's probably the only issue I have with this card. It doesn't feel super clunky on the ball. The dribbling is pretty much made up with the reactions, the composure, the ball control, and the actual dribbling stat. He is rapid. He is an absolute beast. The man hits the gym. His biceps are bigger than the majority of the players on the pitch. Uh, and you can notice it in game. Overall, I'm going to give him a solid 8.5 out of 10 in regards to the early game CDMs. Obviously... 
that will change throughout the year. He's not going to be an 8.5 out of 10 throughout the whole damn year. But at this current stage, he is one of the best CDMs I have used. Anyway, guys, I'll be more see. I hope you enjoyed as always. If you did, please drop me a like on this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this beast himself. I'll catch you very soon for another one. Take it easy.